full battery. This is always a little nerve wracking, but so worth it. <laughs> it's really hard to get anything but GoPro footage as a self shooter. And so the drone acts like a tripod that I can set up on shore, but also gets aerial, aerial shots. It does so much, but Launching and landing from a kayak is definitely a class five move, which is why I change the card after every flight and make sure I have a full battery, even if there's plenty of battery left. All right. Thank you. I should keep going up. <laughs> you also the tricky thing is you kind of have to do it in a spot that's calm enough that uh, you can paddle with your skirt off so that you can control the joysticks oh, I think that's a cool shot all right Now the trick is, ooh, don't look at the drone and don't look at the controller because it's obvious. It looks weird when you're looking down because who looks down and paddles? And so you paddle further than you might, you make sure you're out of the shot. Yep, I'm out of the shot. Whoa. And don't do that with your paddle again. All right. It's all about getting as many different shots as you can. Okay, get a shot coming around that headland. Actually, oh yeah, there we go. That's cool. I'm not wearing a skirt. <laughs> I got 37% battery left, but uh, you know, I've got a lot of great shots. 
and uh, no need to push it at all. So I'm going to land and then um, pull the card, <laughs> make sure that I don't do anything stupid with this. So staying in the kayak, because there's a bit of wind, it's a little easier to just lock the nose down. I just lock the nose in place of the, the kayak and then, where are we? There we are. All right. Hi. Now you just hold your hand underneath it and you keep pushing down on the joystick and eventually it'll say, okay, auto land. Ah. And you just keep holding down on the controller and et voila. <sighs> A safe bird. <laughs> Got some good footage there. I'm excited about that flight. It's hard to screw up when you have such a magnificent coast to work with. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that one's done. And you, my controller, is reaching the end of the line too. I'm not gonna mess with the card right here, right now, because those little micro SD cards are, you know, they're small. And what a stupid way to lose all that footage, drop it in the, in the water. Although I'd probably be able to retrieve it here. It'd be a pain in my butt though. But I'm pulled the battery as a reminder too that Hey, before you go flying again, you need a battery and you need a replacement card. Yeah. And always use the protector. I don't bothering with the the leg protectors because or the propeller protector because I find it more of a pain than anything. Nice thing about uh, this being a lake and not the ocean too is I'm dealing with fresh water and so getting a little wetness on things is just not as big of an issue as it is with salt water. Camera gear that is. Well, everything. So, hopefully that, hopefully that helps you understand how to launch land from a kayak. Although, I definitely tell this to everybody with the caveat that it's dangerous. I mean, there is a really good likelihood that something is going to go wrong. You're going to lose uh, a drone at some point. If you're having trouble landing, my plan B is basically to drive it into, into somewhere soft on, on the shore where I can act, get, get to it. Um, try to land it anywhere, just not in the water. Because when it goes in the water, I mean, it's definitely, the drone is cooked and you might not retrieve it. And that means all the footage is gone. At least when it's on shore, somewhere retrievable, you might have a broken propeller, you might break the drone, but likely not. Um, and you'll be able to retrieve it, so. If you're gonna fly a drone out here, you have to be willing to lose a drone out here. <laughs> and yes, I've lost two drones flying over the water. Shame on me, but it's bound to happen. You fly on the water enough, you're going to lose a drone. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
If you did, well, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and make sure you check out the full Lake Superior adventure because uh, it is a doozy. <laughs> I mean, uh, it took me through some pretty challenging conditions, some conditions that pushed my comfort zone big time. Uh, some of the most gorgeous countryside that you'll see anywhere. I mean, Algoma country is known as an outdoor lover's paradise, and that's what it is. Lake Superior is just a piece of it, but what a piece it is. Ken out. <laughs>